the final episode of our multi-sport practice cage project. We're going to start off today by creating a scaled down version of the overall design using rapid prototyping. Last time out, we finished our basic cage model by adding subsystems. Now, 3D printing will give us a good idea of overall scale before we put the finishing touches on our design. It's easy to print pieces right from SolidWorks. It's like putting a model together when you were a kid. Okay, so here it is, a 1 12th scale version of our cage. Let's take a look at some of the components. I've got it in hockey mode right now. There's a player attached to the post. You know, the protection plate for shooting correct type of shots when you're playing hockey are there. Scoreboards in place. The last vote was about accommodating angle shots and you guys chose to remove the middle wall. Now I like that decision a lot because it really allows the player to move around and have more freedom. The best part about prototyping is being able to visualize. So Paul suggested on the site we add crowd noise. And we need a player. We'll call him Lucchini. Lucchini's got the puck. He blows by the first defender. He's got open ice. He's got a clear shot. He shoots. He scores! All right, so that was a fun look at hockey. If I was to switch the cage over to soccer, it's pretty easy. The players change out into soccer players, the defenders. The plate at the goal changes out into a configuration made for launching and blocking soccer balls. And then the targeting system now moves upward in the goal this way. But for the details, let's jump into SolidWorks and I'll show you how it really works. Since last time, we designed our scoreboards and the targets. Now all the components are in place. Let's talk about what we learned from the prototype. The prototype validated some features I wasn't sure about, like the roof line of the nets. Because if we were to throw a football pass, we're certainly going to go a little higher than the, than the goal line. Because SolidWorks is a parametric modeler, I only have to change a couple of key dimensions to update the post cross members to fix the issue. Another issue I saw is that the defensive players are attached to the post and off to the side quite a bit. It'd be cooler maybe to hang them down from above so that they're inside the area where you're trying to shoot towards. And it actually would probably help with your targeting. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. And in soccer mode, this is how the configuration would look. In football mode, this is how the configuration would look. And finally, in hockey mode, this is the final configuration of the design. One more test before we complete the design is a motion simulation on the soccer ball launcher. So if we set it so that the player shoots the ball and hits the target, the ball needs to be sorted to the proper launcher and then fed back to me. Perfect. Now, all that's left to do is to see how this design would look if we really built it. But before we do that, let's take a quick look back at how we got here. I need your help with something. It's gonna be a multi-sport practice cage. Hey, you ready to do some real CAD work? Absolutely. All right. It seems a little shallow. We can fix that too. I wanna start focusing on the guts and subsystems. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. Yeah. Ready to see the final design prototype of your multi-sport practice cage? Check it out. We've got our textures and decals in place. All of the materials are selected, and the background is looking really good. This rendering was done using PhotoView 360. This functionality works just like a point-and-click camera. It's super easy to use. For extra tips, you might want to check out this book, Rendering Using SolidWorks and PhotoView 360. I also want to give a special shout out to Robinson, Rybert, and Paul for their contributions on the site. And be sure to vote for who you think should be the most valuable player on this project. Now this product doesn't exist yet, but you can still step inside it. Just go to post3d.com slash letsgodesign. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can take a realistic walkthrough of the design and examine different features. I'm also going to post the CAD files to the download section of our Let's Go Design site. Now it's on to our next project. I won't tell you exactly what it is, but let's just say it involves tank treads, babies, and the need for speed. We'll see you back here soon for project three.